special, special thank you to the Hockey Ball Jazz Band. I also would like to thank the Green Foundation because they are the ones that sponsor this event. A school district like ours really has no funds to do something like this. And so we look to uh, our supporters to help us do this kind of thing. So I would like to introduce the president of the Kermin Community Foundation, Jim Steinkamp. Jim. Um, thank you all for coming today. I want to welcome you and thank uh, Jim and Tracy Essenson for opening up their home for this, this event this year. <laughs> As you know, the Kyron Foundation uh, hosts this event each year, and um, one of our it's one of our three main initiatives is to support uh, teachers and employees of Kyrene, along with the uh, Kyrene Family Resource Center, and uh, of course, supporting the students. Next, I would like to uh, thank the person responsible for the refreshments today, and that would be Robert Drager, excuse me, who is um, our Sodexo Food Services Director. Marjean Steinkamp. She's been doing amazing things. She's the one that's responsible for the taste of Kyrene. And she's also done so much to um, help the foundation continue to grow and flourish the way it is. So Marjean Steinkamp, thank you so much. And then, of course, Tracy Essenson. I know she's already been thanked, but I have to thank her again. This is her home, and I'm not leaving. because I, really <laughs> I would like to introduce our governing board president, Beth Brazell. Beth would like to say a few words. Thank you, Dr. Schauer. I'd like to thank all the staff, teachers, and administration for your hard work and dedication to our families, communities, and most importantly, our children this past year. Uh, right now, I'd like to introduce um, Harvey Gibson, who is the Business Development Director for the Tempe Schools Credit Union. Um, as Dr. Schauer said, for five years, Tempe Schools Credit Union has um, partnered with the foundation for these awards. We love doing this. It's a way for us to give back just a little bit to the district. When the judges read the nomination for this year's Administrator of the Year, they noted her contagious enthusiasm, productiveness, and diligence. She makes them excited to come to work. Please join me in acknowledging Dr. Mary Ann Lesher as Administrator of the Year. Our next honoree is a person who has the rare ability to touch student, parent, and colleagues' lives in a way that is encouraging and inspiring. Let's give a big round of applause for our Educator of the Year, Brian Pollard, from Kyrene Bell Platinum Middle School. The school that nominated our Support Staff Person of the Year had many reasons, including the fact that he is thoughtful, thorough, enthusiastic, and professional. This guy is so good, he has kids club students that have been known to pretend to be him because he can fix anything. <laughs> Our support staff person of the year, Hector Para and Tilo of Karim de las Minas. Our KEA president, Susan Cormier. Welcome, and it's a pleasure to see so many people show up today to honor all of our employees. So on behalf of all the teachers, congratulations to everyone for receiving awards today, and to those of you retiring, best wishes. President of the Caribbean Education Support Professionals Association, Mike Williams. Welcome, Mike. Welcome, Mike. Uh, on behalf of myself and all the education support professionals, I want to congratulate all the milestone recipients and the warm winners tonight. Uh, and this is who is the president of our Caribbean Administrative Council. And it's a pleasure to be here today to represent the administrators and to celebrate all of our honorees today. I also would like to take a moment to thank Tracy Estenson. She's a Wagner parent um, who volunteers hours of her time at Wagner. We would like to honor our newly uh, uh, National Board Certified Teachers, Hannah Jones, Amanda Williams, Cassidy Parker, and Amy Ordonez. Okay, now we are going to start honoring um, our employees with different years of service. 